don't know whether to introduce these guys or to run out of here screaming. But anyway, uh, this is a gothic rock group called Radio Werewolf. <laughs> Hold it down. Hold it, everybody. Your name is... Nicholas is Shrek. Nicholas Shrek. You know, I have... I've investigated you guys, and, and I have found out that these, these I'm maniacs... I'm surprised are if you could investigate anything, George. Oh, listen to this one. I, I have discovered... I, I've had other bands and groups on my show, but I've discovered these vermin are the most vile, evil group I've ever seen, ever! Flattery will get you nowhere. Hey, look at their literature. I, Silence, I you I'm miserable right. cretins. Silence! Don't touch me again, Mr. George. Don't put your hands anywhere near me. First of all, I understand that, that you wanted to hold a rally for Charles Manson. What do you think about that? Here's Charles my... Charles Manson is one of the greatest philosophers of our age. Oh. I hope not. But that's only the beginning. That is only the beginning of the crusade that we are bringing no, to no, this let, world. No, let me let me talk about this first. Here's some of the flyers that they passed out. Friends of Justice, Justice for Charles Manson. What do you think about that? Here's what I think about that. Revealed is that you have been brainwashed by the same liberal media that you claim to despise so much. All you, all you prove, you free werewolf is so much. Radio Werewolf is so much above your understanding that you should consider yourself privileged to even have us on your miserable... Oh, brought some dignity to this circus that you've been putting on the air. Oh, circus, look how these clowns are dressed. Radio Werewolf goes much beyond good and evil by your mortal understanding of those words. We, wait, wait. The Radio Werewolf, the Radio Werewolf Youth Party is leading a crusade to take youth out of the corruption and decadence that the vile rock music of the past 20 years has brought upon this earth. Wait a minute, you have a Radio Werewolf Youth Movement? The Radio Werewolf Youth Movement is spreading all over this globe even as we speak. Wait a minute, we are broadcasting right, right the dominant frequency all across this globe. We are the future of this world, George, and you are the past. Hey, here's what I think of the future of Radio Werewolf. Yeah! Right Finding the world to agree Just with your philosophy. Just shut your stupid mouth for a minute. These, yeah! these people, and all across America, look at jerks like you, and they know that you are stupid morons. For Radio Werewolf is the only beacon of light in this dark age that we live in, beacon and the of youth light. of the world will come to realize that tonight. 
human race. Do you? We are the future of the world. In some of your literature, I, I've read where you say that, that you're calling on the youth of America to help you rid this earth of the subhuman parasites in this country. Who are well, those I have, subhuman I parasites? I have no better evidence of what subhuman parasites look like than this wonderful gallery of idiots before us. What do you do with your life? You dress. Look at the way you dress. Why do you dress like that? Why, Why do you guys all dress like that? If you have an intelligent question to ask, you may Why? ask it. If not, just sit down. Why do you guys dress like that? What's your question? Why do you dress like that? Why do you guys look like idiots? Yeah. Yeah. Answer me. Answer. Answer. Yeah. Idiocy is in the eye of the beholder, and all I see before me is a very large, stupid idiot. Oh. Sir, let, let me ask you this question for What's the significance of this makeup? Why, why are you uh, dressed up like that? You're trying that? to be vampires? Is that it? We are the last bastion of the Gothic spirit on this earth. The Gothic spirit is everything noble in Western civilization. Go ahead. Yes, yes, go ahead. And we are nobility itself. Are you guys for real? And if you are, did you guys get like hit in the head when you were younger? <laughs> So ignorant astounding. freaks, you are the imbeciles, and you are out of here! A curse upon you, George! Ninety. Once they won the case, then they started this campaign. Like, oh, it was all bullshit. It was all bullshit. It was all bullshit. Satanic panic. Don't believe the kids. You know what I mean? Like, there is bullshit in it, but it's the bullshit that they created. Like, Geraldo. If you watch that whole Geraldo shit on Satanism, there's good info, and then there's dumb shit like Ozzy Osbourne and looking at graffiti and like, you know what I mean? Like that. But it was on purpose because Geraldo's. Most likely CIA, like get the fuck out of here. Denver police have had a serious problem with teenagers and Satanism over the past five years. The most disturbing, an increase in teenage homicides and suicides with ritualistic or satanic overtones. Animal sacrifices, birds, dogs, church desecrations and burglaries, chalices stolen. They use them to drink the blood of their sacrifices. Do you still believe in Satan? Yeah. He can come into you and make you do wicked stuff and weird things like that. Like, for instance? Hurt people, hurt your family. In the 80s, I felt compelled to defend Satanism, primarily because you have to understand, growing up in this religion, I almost began to regard it as a kind of problem sibling. It was like my brother. It was under attack when all of these horrendous accusations were happening. And I called my father and I asked him what his media strategy was to deal with it. And he confessed that he had no media strategy whatsoever. He didn't care. At that point, he was living in a complete isolated bubble. My mother had left him. So I said, well, if you need anybody to answer questions or just to answer a phone call or something, I said, I can do it. From there, I became the high priestess of the Church of Satan.
Jerry. That's, That's me. me. Hi, I'm Bernard Berkowitz, manager of Radio Werewolf, and I'd like to give my boys the most fabulous funeral money can buy. Oh, how are we expecting to pay for this fabulous funeral? Well, frankly, I'm broke. Okay. Welcome to the club. But I thought possibly you guys were Radio Werewolf fans. Well, wait a minute, Mr. Berkowitz. You said Radio Werewolf? My boys, God bless them. Well, they're a musical group, aren't they? They were supposed to play at a party my son was invited to tomorrow. The Bialy Stock Bar Mitzvah. The greatest cash drop gig I ever negotiated in my life. One million dollars for two sets. A million dollars? Are you saying that these guys are getting paid a million dollars to play at a private party? That's right. Said he'd do anything for that kid of his. Were the radio werewolf guys badly injured in the accident? You know, maimed? Hardly a mark on them. They were killed by some stupid safety bag. Bernie, now... If it were possible, don't ask me how, to arrange them to play tomorrow night for one set only here at the mortuary, can you still get that million? I have an announcement to make. Radio Werewolf is splitting up. Oh, no. This will be their last historic performance. And we know it's going to be a concert to remember. Put your hands together. You asked for them, you paid for them, and here they are, the fabulous Radio Werewolf. Such an ugly noise. Dad, this is the happiest day of my life. Money can buy happiness, can't it? Don't you forget it. I think the skinhead movement is a very positive step away from the decadence of the rock and drug culture that has dominated the youth so much. But as Adolf Hitler said, we seek to bring about a youth that has closed its heart to pity. All of the humanist values that Judeo-Christianity has encouraged, we want to wipe them out. It's led to democracy, social humanism, the idea of equality. All of this filth has to be wiped out if the human race is going to continue to take the next step in evolution. What do you believe that that would be like in, uh, if you were in, in control as well, far we, as your attitudes we, towards your own people? Well, we are in control because basically we are not a political organization. We are an occult organization. We are working behind the scenes to manipulate the way that people think. The war that we are waging is a guerrilla war on the human mind. And we use musical frequencies, the dominant frequency, which I've referred to before, and symbolism and imagery to awaken dormant aspects of the human mind. Where's my wallet? Valerie, whatever happens, Meet me on the roof in a few minutes. Okay. I'll be there. She's not an inanimate object. Who white hugs me to see? Fifty thousand miles of funerals. A child just has for eternity. The gang says I'm psycho. Shadow in your 
it difficult to, to, to get club dates and things like that? Obviously, once... Well, we, we no longer are working in the context of, of that whole sphere of activities. We are moving into a much more elitist direction. We're only seeking individuals who are competent and who are willing to take action. There's a lot of people who will be an audience or a spectator, but we want people who will act. And so the Abraxas Foundation has been for some time? Or? The Abraxas Foundation is an organization that Boyd Rice and myself founded, and it's dedicated to bringing about the values which we consider true and determined by the natural order. And in our opinion, humanity has moved away from nature and race mixing, genetic suicide, the destruction of the gene pool, all of that is completely inimical, inimical to the natural order. We need to return to order. Is this, uh, could this parallel somewhat Nietzscheism and Nietzsche? Well, Nietzsche was certainly a forerunner of our thinking because basically we're concerned with evolution, maintaining the very best of humanity and destroying destroying weakness, destroying everything that Judeo-Christianity has succored and kept alive. We have no concern for the homeless, particularly. We don't have any concern in helping people. We're not seeking to convert people. As far as I'm concerned, in 1988, this is the cutting point. Either you are with us now, or you never will be with us. What do you think about writers like, say, Oswald Spengler, writing in the kind of the West, the cycles of I, I very much believe we are now in a cycle of order. The 60s, 20 years ago, represented a cycle of decay. And since my message is directly intended for young people, I would say it's about time that young people move away from the corrupt values of the 60s, the drug culture, race mixing, equality, the, the whole chaos of that period is ending. And we're going to see a new social movement in the 90s that will make Nazism and fascism look like kindergarten.
I'll read your address, just the name of the person. Did you want it? No, I just don't know. Did you want it? Sure. What's that going to be on? It'll be on NBC. Geraldo Rivera, our favorite. Number six. Boy, you are an American. Very happy for 